engaged? Yes. How sweet. Except you're still married to me. That's why you came here, isn't it? Not to see how I was doing, but to get me to sign off on the divorce. Ryan and I are together, David. You need to accept that. There's nothing you can do to change it. If you really believe that, you wouldn't be here right now. Look at you, all confident, chin in the air. But I know you, Greenlee. You wouldn't be here right now if you didn't think that I could cause trouble for you and Ryan. Starting with not signing those divorce papers. I was hoping that we could be civilized about this. Civilized? Nice word. There's nothing left between us, David. So why not just end this amicably? Wow. Another nice word. We've been through so much together, Greenlee. You loved me. I know you did. And now here we are trying to be civilized and amicable. Will you sign the papers? I remember when I pulled you out of that water. You were so pale, practically dead. I breathed life back into you. I did anything and everything for you. Lived my life for you. Devoted my life for our future. For you. Do you hear yourself? That's not love. It's obsession. That's not what I want. I want peace. I want contentment. Mm. And that's what you'll have with Ryan, right? I already do. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, enjoy it while it lasts. He's hurt you before, remember? Walked out. He'll do it again, trust me. It's different this time. Mm, yeah, of course. Because you're so in love, right? And so hopeful. Too bad for that nasty little thing called reality that always seems to intrude. The reality is, Ryan and I will be together forever. Because I will do whatever I can to hold on to what we have. Now who's obsessed? Why are you doing this? Are you trying to hurt me? Are you trying to make me doubt Ryan? I'm just trying to get you to see, Greenlee, that you have every reason to believe that you have to be worried about the long term once the glow fades. I'm not worried at all. Something else is bothering you. What is it? Just this. You know he will never love you as much as I do. If I had just done what you had asked, let you go the night of the party, I never would have been shot. Lost all this time. And Zach would still be alive. Kendall would have her husband. Her children would have their father. We've hurt so many people. It's time to end this. I never intended for any of that. Of course you didn't. All you wanted was to ruin Ryan's life. And you ruined so many others. All because you couldn't have what you wanted. Give me the papers. You'll sign them? I'm gonna do what I should have done that night. I'm gonna let you go. Just like that. We're finished, Green. I have to accept that. I just need one more favor. <sighs> I knew it. Help me sit up, please. Remember when you had to help me with every little move? I'll never forget it. 
You would think there would be only one way to go from there, huh? Up. Thank you. Just, uh, sign at the X's. Well, I guess that's something to hold on to, huh? Don't do what I did. When I woke up, I had my second chance. I wasted so much time being angry, getting back at the people who'd hurt me. Well, maybe that's just who I am, right? I know you don't like to show up, but there is good in you. This is your chance to let people see All it. All right, Greenlee, you got what you came for. This is your chance to have a fresh start. Thank you for not fighting me on this. I just hope you have a real shot in hell being happy. I will be. You know what they say about people in comas. They hear everything you say. You heard, you heard everything. You're a very bad girl, Liza. So I don't suppose there's any chance that this is going to stay between us, right? No. You're going to have too much fun using that against me, aren't Liza, you? Liza, your secret is safe with me. In fact, if you ever need someone to talk to, I hope you'll come to me, especially when I'm conscious. <laughs> 